Well, commiserations, Steve. I imagine a, a frustrating afternoon for all sorts of reasons. Yeah, very frustrating, really. I thought um, I thought we started quite bright for 20 minutes and and uh, got into good positions without finding the final ball. Uh, but. Very disappointed we didn't really test our keeper in the first half. I think he made one save, a uh, low shot from Cadell Daniels. So even though we got in good positions for 20, 25 minutes, we, we didn't take advantage of that. And they came strong in the last 15 and, and created a few problems for us. So we went in at halftime a little unhappy that, we, that we'd fallen off the, the pace, really. And disappointment about the goal, given you know a player of Dominic Vose's ability, had a lot of time and space around the box even though he did very, very well to thread the ball through to Connor Jennings. Yeah, well, it, it didn't look like a massive problem. He, he, I think he got a throw, threw the ball in, got it back. It didn't look like we were in problems. Suddenly, he's bursting into the box and, um, and, and played someone in who made a run. Uh, I'll have to look at it again, but it's disappointing because it came from a throw when we were in good position to, to defend, so it wasn't like a counter-attack or anything like that. We were all back. We were set up for the throw but didn't, didn't stop the, the player from bursting into the box, really. And Bruno Andrade came on in the second half, again to good effect, didn't he? Yeah, Bruno came on and, uh, you know, I think Cadell, Cadell's had two very good games and to have his third game in seven days, what some people have to remember, the, these players are, are really playing their first season in senior football. You know, they've been playing for either Charlton under-21s, QPR under-21s, wherever, so as development squad and, and I think Cadell's done very well in the last two games and first half it's not that he did it uh, poorly but he, he found it a little bit more difficult to get in the game like I say that third game in seven days um, can take it out of you when you're a, a young player and and concentration levels that you need um, when results really matter in, in national football. And I imagine a degree of disappointment too over Brian Sarr's second yellow today. Yeah, very disappointing because obviously we, we, you know, we'll have him out for the for the FA Cup game next week. But I didn't really think the player was going anywhere, and I'm sure Brian's is as disappointed as we are at, uh, at him getting sending off. And looking at positives today, Steve, when you went down to ten men, you seemed to give it a right go, didn't you? Well, uh, yeah, you can look at that as a positive, or you can look at it as a negative, and. Uh, you know, you know. I think the crowd were very good at the end. They, you know, stayed with us, applauded the players off the pitch. But we, we really needed to do more when eleven players were on the pitch for sixty-five minutes. We had to do more in that time. And looking ahead now, it's FA Cup day next Saturday, and a tough away trip to Maidenhead. Yep, massive game. FA Cup always is. Um, you know, the, this club's got a great association with the FA Cup. Um, but not in recent years, and it's important that we that we that we win the game at Maidenhead uh, and see what the draw brings us. But it will be a tough game, you know. They've got an experienced uh, manager, and uh, you know we've been to Maidenhead a few times. Whilst me and Gary's been here with with uh, mixed fortunes, really one brilliant day and and one awful day. So we'll be hoping it's the first one and doing everything in training this week to make sure it's the first one. Hopefully, we'll have a few players returning from injury and uh, we'll be strong and uh, don't worry the players will be left in no uncertain terms how important the game is we all know that and uh, it's important that the players know that as well lovely thank you very much for your time Steve. thank you cheers